Hello and welcome to another Moog demo library. Today we're going to look at the mod page of Animoog Z. In the mod page we find Animoog Z's modulation matrix, which expands on the original by having 10 slots as opposed to Animoog's 4. In the mod page we can choose a modulation source such as LFO1, adjust its modulation depth or invert it, and route it to any destination we like. Say, for example, the filter cutoff frequency. Now, if we press a key, we'll hear the LFO move the filter cutoff, and we can increase the modulation depth for more dramatic movement. We can also still adjust the rate of the LFO. And if we go to the effects section in the filter module, we'll now see a green indicator above the cutoff frequency knob showing that we have modulation routed to it and we can see it move in time with the LFO. We can also use a control to adjust the modulation depth of the LFO. So by choosing the pressure, for example, and moving it all the way up, now when we press the bottom of a key, we won't hear much of the LFO at all, but as we raise our finger, we'll fade in the LFO to get more dramatic movement. In this example, we've only used one mod slot, so with 10 mod slots available on Animoog Z, you can get a lot of movement and nuance in your Animoog Z patches.